So you guys probably know that I'm not a big fan of YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some decent content on here. You usually just have to dig for it a little bit and then you'll find those little gold nugget videos. But it's more the platform that I'm not a big fan of. Like YouTube.com, this website, I've got some issues with it. My main issue is all the JavaScript, all of the bloated JavaScript that is, I guess, necessary to make YouTube work. Um, it slows systems down, right? I mean, you won't notice it too much on a modern system, but if you're using something like a used ThinkPad and you've only got four gigs of RAM, you're probably going to notice your fans start to spin up a bit when you load YouTube.com and you load in an HD video. But the bigger problem is that all of this JavaScript is written and maintained by Google, who, of course, uh, their profit model, it involves collecting your data. So obviously this JavaScript isn't just used to make YouTube work, it also has a secondary function which is to act as spyware. And then there's the algorithm. I've got a little bit of beef with the algorithm too. I don't know about you guys, but for whatever reason, most of the videos that YouTube recommends to me are just also crap, or at least it's stuff that I'm not interested in. Like even if you load YouTube, like the default page, right? So this is a private window uh, in Firefox, doesn't collect your data or anything like that, doesn't save your history. So I guess this is just what a new device that goes to YouTube sees. Uh, it's not stuff that I'm interested in, right? So there's obviously, it's obviously a good idea to figure out how to get that good content, those few gold nuggets from this site, without exposing yourself to all of the cancer and all the spyware that is this site. Now, I've shown this option a few times before in the past. So if you've got MPV installed on your system, you can just use the MPV command and with a link that's copied from YouTube, give it to MPV and it'll open up the video. So this is an option for watching YouTube just on your desktop, right? Like it's open up an MPV. Uh, you've got pause and rewind, fast forward, all that stuff, which just basically close the video because it's only 10 seconds long. Uh, so yeah, that's a good option for watching YouTube without exposing yourself to as much spyware. But there's a problem with this. It's it's very different than just clicking on something, right? Like if you're used to watching YouTube the normal way and just clicking on a video, it might be a little difficult to train your, your brain or your muscle reflexes or whatever to watch videos this way. Luckily, there is an add-on called FF2MPV uh, that'll let us do that in a way that's a little bit more straightforward. So obviously you're going to need to have MPV installed on your system to do this. Uh, but this add-on that you can use in Firefox or IceCat, which is actually what I have open here, which by the way, if you really care about your privacy, this is probably the browser that you should be using considering that it's one of the only browsers that by default doesn't come with any spyware. Pretty much every other browser, at least every other one that I've reviewed on this channel, comes with spyware by default. And in some cases you can go through the settings to disable it, but in other cases you don't have that option like with Microsoft Edge. Uh, so anyway, this add-on that you can add in Firefox or IceCat is going to give you a right-click option for uh, not even just YouTube videos, but other videos as you'll see in a moment to be able to play them in MPV. So we'll just do that. And it uh, takes a couple seconds to load the video, but obviously much shorter than watching an ad or two. Uh, although it actually looks like this video itself is an ad. <laughs> Probably should have picked a better video. Uh, but you get the idea. You right click on something and you can play it in MPV. Uh, really cool. And also doesn't require the whole like muscle memory of opening up a second window and doing it that way. Uh, so. You'll need to install this add-on, you'll need to have MPV, you'll also need to go to this GitHub page because there's a couple other files that we need for this to work. Uh, so you can just download the whole thing. There's an install file that comes with it. Uh, I'll actually show it to you here. So this install shell script, uh, obviously those of you that know shell script can just figure out what this does right away because it's pretty short. But basically it's just putting two files in place. It's putting in this JSON file 
and it actually doesn't move this Python file. Like if you run it from this directory, it's going to use this same Python file that's right here. Um, so if you want to install it manually uh, or move it, that's what I ended up doing. Um, the JSON will automatically be placed here by install.sh, but if you're doing it manually, you'll just need to go to this .mozilla directory or create it if it doesn't exist already. And this is what you get. So you get this JSON file and it has the path to the Python script. So you'll also have to change this. If you ran install, it's gonna be in your downloads directory. Um, as you can see, I just put my Python script in my scripts directory. So I'll show you what that looks like. And here we go. Oh, I should probably resize my window so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, it's just fairly simple Python script to basically redirect it from IceCAD or Firefox into MPV. Uh, so this args variable here, you can change this uh, for it to start it in MPV the way that you want. So for example, yours isn't going to have this FS option. I added that so that by default, it's going to play the video in MPV in a full screen. Uh, just because that's how I prefer to watch most of my stuff. Uh, and of course, this is that file now that it's a little bit bigger, so you can see, just change this path variable. Um, and let's look at install.sh, because why not? All right, so now that you guys saw all of that stuff, uh, you already saw that it can play on YouTube. Uh, you could even probably disable, I think there's a particular JavaScript that just loads these um, that just loads these thumbnails because there's one that actually makes the videos work uh, and then there's another one that they do all these different little components within YouTube uh, so you might be able to do that uh, live leak you can play videos from here as well same idea just right click it play an MPV so you see the video here um, same thing on BitChute. Hopefully this doesn't have anything too spicy that's gonna get me demonetized. Cause you know, sometimes BitChute is too based for YouTube. This one looks okay. You know. Long as they're not slandering China too hard, YouTube won't get mad at me. Uh, so yeah. Works on pretty much any video site. I mean, I just tested it on the ones here that I usually go to. Really great option for watching YouTube with less spyware.